Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. As you all loved my uh, Sheen haul that I did a few weeks ago, um, I thought I would do another one for you. Um, so today we've got a TikTok shop haul and I know that I'm going to stumble over my words at some point when saying that TikTok shop haul. Um, basically just things that I keep seeing pop up on my For You page. I also didn't have TikTok shop until the last month suddenly i deleted it i reinstalled it and now i have tiktok shop and i don't know if that is a positive or a negative at this point because i'm um now down about 70 pound however all of this was bought uh ages ago and it is all stuff with the intention of taking it traveling i just thought i would show you what i've got and it makes for quite a fun video so yeah surprise surprise most of this is clothing um but i did buy a foundation and a primer which i will show you first so listen i know i'm late to the trend but the elf power grip primer i have people have been talking about this for ages okay but I saw a lot of comments saying that it has brought people out in acne spots, whatever you want to call it. And my skin is going through a weird patch at the moment. You can probably see here, for some reason, all around here and my forehead. I don't know what's going on. I've never really suffered with my skin, so it is a bit strange. Um, but I do love that it has a little, a little squeezy at the top. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give this a go. Um and if it is good then i will be taking it with me on my travels now i don't know how much this retails for i think it's around 10 pound um i could be completely off so don't quote me on that um but i managed to get this for four pound on tiktok shop which is a bargain along with that now my go-to foundations have always and probably will remain as the estee lauder is it long wear? I can't remember. The Estee Lauder foundation and the MAC Studio Fix foundation. Those have always been my go-tos. Uh, MAC, since I was about 16, I've not stopped wearing that foundation. And then I switched between that and the Estee Lauder. A colleague of mine um, was, we were just talking about foundations and she mentioned that she had tried the HMB Cosmetics foundation, uh, which also I've been seeing go viral on TikTok. And I thought, do you know what? I'll give it a go. I think RPR was £22. I got it for 10 And I was like, what a bargain. So this is it. It's the Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation. And I can't get into the box. Oh, also, I might just add, I have not used any of this or tried any of it on until now. So we are literally testing this out together. I got it. Ooh, I love the um <gasps> look it's a little that's so cool oh my god i'm so easy to please so yeah do you know what i'm actually really happy with that and i'm hoping that it's going to be nice i love i love i love i love the packaging it feels quite bougie it is plastic not glass um i'm pretty sure it feels like it's plastic but it is very lightweight uh which makes for good travel I don't know if I've bought the right shade for me. In all honesty, I have bought LF6W. I am a clothes whore at the moment. I can't stop buying clothes. Now, a brand that I really like is Cider, but I just can't justify the shipping costs and the the last time I ordered, I had to pay shipping costs. I don't know if you still do. Um, so the first thing that i got was a dupe for their short and bodysuit combos there's a brand called yozy that's probably going to be backwards for you but it's called yozy or yozy um and i keep seeing them pop up and i was like right okay but it's very cute you just get a little pair of shorts they're very very thin so you're gonna need to not wear granny pants under these you're gonna need to wear seamless um and you also get a little bodysuit with it as well so i went for gray because 
I am a basic bitch. I like black, grey, nude, white. Um, so as you can see, this is how it fits. I do think that there is a little issue with the nips. Um, so potentially there might, you know, you might have to wear a bra underneath it, which if you're anything like me, I hate wearing a bra. I think most females do because I am small chested. Most of the time I can get away with it. Something that I have wanted for ages is a romper or unitard, but I don't know what the correct name is. I don't know if it's going to suit me. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to suck me in in the right places or if it's going to make me look a bit frumpy. I don't know. Um, but I had a friend last year um, who when I was in America, bought one and they looked insane. So I'm like, I want to try. I wanted one anyway, but it's a little bit out of my comfort zone <sighs> is the unitard. Um, it's literally, it looks ridiculous, not on. Like it does look ridiculous. And this is tiny, like literally like the waist is like almost not as wide as my head and I have a pea head just for reference. I don't have a massive head, but it is, it's giving stretch, but not too stretchy. So hopefully it'll suck me in in my belly. So this is it on. Um, I'm thinking style it with like a sort of loose shirt over. That's kind of what I'm envisioning. Um, so let me know what you think if that looks good let me know how you would style it would you just wear it on its own and completely just wing it would you wear it with something what shoes would you wear with it i'm thinking black and white converse but again i don't claim to be a fashionista person i don't claim to be someone who is fashionable even remotely also while i think about it could you please subscribe if you're enjoying this video subscribe to my channel it helps out so much more than you even know yeah sound off in the comments let me know what you like what you don't like no offense taken as long as you're not being a dick right i'm now going to show you some swimwear now listen hear me out you know when you have a vision for something and you think oh my god yeah that's amazing <laughs> i don't know if this is gonna work <laughs> i just feel like i'm gonna look ridiculous in this i burn okay just for for preference i burn like that especially when i'm swimming so this kind of comes practicality but this is the reference photo right so it's kind of like an all-in-one swim but it covers your shoulders and all of your body this is said swim suit now you might be able to see my vision when that is the reference photo you may be able to see where i was going with this i'm just saying i don't have her body i understand that this may not pay off but this is what it looks like on okay maybe i mean look at that maybe my vision was not too bad i don't know sound off let me know do i look like a grandma or has it paid off with that kind of cute but sexy but reserved vibe mysterious gal okay while we are on the swimming topic um i have been seeing this swimsuit everywhere and i keep seeing that it's really good for pulling you in sucking you in and making you look nice in all the right places so when i saw this and it was a reasonable price i thought you know what i might get it now hello that's sitting weirdly there isn't it i'm looking at it and i'm thinking i think it's going to look a bit old it's gonna look a bit a uh, mature lady not mid-20s but here it is on let me know what you think let me know your thoughts um this is very brave of me to put this up on the internet because once again i'm an insecure gal um but let me know what you think i don't think it's doing for me what it does for other people and that's okay we have different body types um i think for me it isn't doing anything it just kind of looks a bit frumpy um but i've seen other people wear it and it's fucking sexy and i'm like hello like why isn't it doing it for me? I'm just not really a bikini gal. I will wear bikinis. I don't mind bikinis. Sometimes they feel a little intrusive. Is that the correct word? I don't know. Okay, so next is just some basic tops, basically. I lived in my one top that I had like this last year. 
and it's just are these called racer tops i think um every one i buy is cropped and don't get me wrong i love a cropped one of these they're great especially if you're wearing like shorts or something but sometimes i want to tuck in like i want it to go down into my high waist trousers or whatever so i did the mature thing and bought two <laughs> Um, this is them on. I'm sure you can imagine without actually seeing, to be fair, what these ones look like. They are just racer tops. Okay, next I have some leggings to show you. Now, I haven't tried these on yet, but I have got them out and they look very short. Now, this is them. They feel very nice and thick. I will say they do feel quite thick. It doesn't feel like, it feels like they're going to be breathable. They have a little sort of I don't know if you can really tell, but they do have like the area where your bum goes and a little scrunch at the bum. Um, just a small one, just a little itty bitty one for our little itty bitty bums. So trying them on, this is what they look like. Um, they fit well nice. They fit really good. They're not too tight around the waist. Um, they could be a little less squashed, but they are doing what I need them to do and they feel very comfortable and good to move in. On those leggings, I bought, it was two for one uh, or two in a packet. I think it was like eight, nine pound for the two. Um, I actually got them in brown as well because who doesn't love a pair of sports leggings? Not me, I love them. So those are the leggings. You can see the brown ones on as well. They are literally just the same pair, just in black and brown. Okay, I also bought a pair of these viral flared leggings now this isn't from the viral brand this was a cheaper pair because i can't be dealing with spending ridiculous money right now because i am a little on the skin side i do love this uh waistline it kind of cuts in front i'm hoping that that does something nice um and then they are flared at the bottom they are flared at the ends which again i love who doesn't love a pair of flared leggings so this is them on the fit is great they're doing something for me there's no vpl they're sucking me in i'm happy i also saw these t-shirts now i love an oversized tee right because who doesn't love an oversized tee I do. So it was three um, three oversized tees in a pack. So I opted for the white, nude and black. And it is literally the same t-shirt, the same writing, the same coloured writing on all of them. So it's just these oversized t-shirt. It says not in the mood and it says it on the back as well. And so I got that in white, black and nude. So I'll show you all three on very quickly, but again, they are the same t-shirt. You can't really go wrong with an oversized tee. Um, these could potentially be bigger, but I feel like they're a good, they're a good oversized that could wear with just cycling shorts on a hot summer day where you don't want your shoulders out because that's what always burns for me is my shoulders. Okay, now last but not least is another cider dupe now i have had my eyes on this jumpsuit from cider for ages ages and ages and ages and i just hadn't bought it because i was waiting to find a dupe and i found one on tiktok but it is just this bit that is at the top there's no padding or anything which i kind of suspected that there would be but there is this waistline which is meant to really suck you in nicely and then it goes into really really floaty sort of trousers my vision with this was that i would take this away with me however it's pretty heavy so i don't think that will be happening but it could make for a nice spring sort of outfit i know it's black but it feels like it's going to be very comfortable. It does also have pockets, which is very unusual for this sort of thing. Could also work for an office outfit. Here it is on, let me know your thoughts. I don't know how I feel about this, um, but I feel like it fits me fairly well. It's doing what it needs to do. Yeah, let me know if you think this suits me or if this is just not the thing for me. Okay, thank you very, very much for watching today's video i hope that you enjoy this sort of video let me know if you want more and it's definitely something i'll be doing in the future possibly not the near future because i do not have any money 
um every penny that i have now will be going towards travel this was bought ages ago thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe it really does help out my channel um and i hope to see you soon see you in the next upload bye